Hey everyone, Alec here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to post a GIF to Instagram. And I'm gonna start out with the obvious, you can't actually post a .gif file to Instagram. So to post a GIF file to Instagram, you need to convert it into an MP4 file. So we're gonna convert your GIF into a video, and I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do this right now. Now the tool we're going to be using is called Veed, so you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and then click on the first link. If not, as usual, the link's gonna be in the description down below. And with Veed, as well as converting our GIF into an MP4 video, we can also do a bunch of things such as add text, crop it for Instagram so it's the correct aspect ratio. And with that being said, let me jump onto my computer and show you exactly how it's done. Once you're on Veed, the first step is to create a new project. So we click on the new project button in the top left. Then we're taken into Veed's video editor and this is where we're going to upload our GIF. To upload our GIF, we're just gonna click on the upload files button and then we're going to browse our documents, find the GIF that we want to convert into an MP4 video. And here, as you can see, I have this GIF. So I'm gonna convert this GIF into an MP4 video and as well as converting it into a video, I'm also going to crop it to the one by one aspect ratio. So it's a square video for Instagram. So I select it, click on open. And as we can see, it's now imported into Veed. And if I click play at the bottom, as you'll notice, we have my GIF that is looping. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually crop it to the square one by one aspect ratio. So currently the video canvas is the 16 by nine aspect ratio. And to change it, if we go under the settings tab, we go under the size section and we have this drop down menu right here. And here we have a bunch of different preset aspect ratios that we can choose from for different social media platforms. And I'm going to choose the square one by one aspect ratio. And now, as you can see, I have my square GIF. Now to export it as a .mp, now to download this as a .mp4 file, all I have to do is click on the export button in the top right. But before I do so, I want to make sure that I change some of the output settings so it's the best MP4 file format possible for Instagram. To do this under the project settings, I click on output. And here we have a bunch of presets that we can choose from, or we can manually change these settings ourselves. Now, if I go into the presets, I click on this drop down menu. I'm going to scroll down until I find the Instagram recommended settings. So this is what I'm going to click on. So now if I'm to click on export, it will render it with the best settings possible for Instagram. As well as cropping it, I also want to add a quick bit of text. So I'm just going to click on the text tab and I'm going to click on the plus button to add new text. And I'm just going to type the word skateboarding just like this. So now, as you can see, it appears on the video canvas. I'm going to change the color of my text. I'm going to change it to white. I'm then going to change the font to Anton and I'm going to change the layout to center. And then I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And then here, I'm just going to click and drag this text box to make it a bit bigger. And I'm just literally going to place this at the bottom of my GIF. And I want this to appear for the entire length of the GIF. So I'm just going to click and drag it like this. And if I scroll to the end of the video, as we can see, as soon as I'm out of the square frame, I actually want the video to stop. So if I select my video right here, I can then click the split button. So if I click the split button, it will split my video wherever the playhead is placed. So if I click split, as you can see, it's now been split. So if I right click this part of the video and click delete, as you can see, it disappears. Now, if I click and drag this back to where this video ends, just like this. And now if I start it from the beginning and click play, as you can see, we have my GIF with text and I've also cut off the end. Now, if I click on the export button in the top right, Veed starts to render my GIF with its new aspect ratio and the text. And then I can choose to download it as a video or as a GIF, but because we're posting it to Instagram, I click on download video. And then once it's downloaded, I can go ahead and post my GIF, which is now an MP4 video to Instagram. And that is how to post your GIF to Instagram by converting your GIF into an MP4 video. If you have any questions, we would love to hear them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.